Hello everyone. I'm going to add some rich curls to this 28 piece. And when you're curling a 28 piece, you want to curl going forward. Curling it going forward is going to give you more volume on the top part to give it that natural look. I also left enough hair to the top for me to be able to curl. And I went around the perimeter and I razor it down. You don't want to razor it too low because you want to be able to go in with your small curler and give those some exciting looks like prepping around the edges with waves. And I'll show you how to do that in a few. And you want to curl going up like halfway to the middle back and sides. And then you want to come in with your smaller curler. And when you come in with your smaller curler, you're going to kind of like make it like a flat pin curl look. Like you want to put it in and then you want to like slide it so it can have that flat look and steady looking like a curl. Like you want to go under and slide it. You don't want to make it look like a curl. You just want to slide it to give it that kind of like flat pen curl look. And that's going to give you more details. And as you're curling to the top and you're going forward, you still don't want to curl like in one direction. You want to go like right, left, making the curls different. So when you pick it out, with your fingers, you want to like, you want to be able to have it look full and give you that natural look. So it won't be able to look exactly like a wig 27 piece. You want it to be able to look like it is a 28 piece, but that natural full look with curls. Remember, just go under, then go to the left or go to the right, whichever side you're on, and give it details. You don't want to curl the, those all the way down. You want it to be able to just slide it so it can have that flat pin curl look on the end. So it won't be big curls all the way down because it'll look too bulk then. And your curls on top, you want them to be as tight as possible. Make sure to warn your client that curling weave is totally different from curling hair. So they want to take baths or leave the bathroom door open. They don't want to go in the shower unless they're putting it down. Because it's going to be kind of soft almost. No matter how much holding spray you put on it. It's still going to be kind of soft because it's weave. So you want to remind them of that. When you get into the details on the side, you want to do the same thing, like a flat pin curl look to the bottom of it. Adding details is going to give it that short, natural look, and that's what you want to do. And you want to go forward and backwards with details on the side. And with sideburns, sideburns are a choice of them. If they want sideburn, they can get sideburn. If they don't want it, you can just cut it off. It's really up to them. When you pull out the curls, you want to pull it out with your hand. Or you can use a long, um, a long stick comb. 
I like to use my fingers because I can get in between and make it more fluffy. Giving it more detail, more volume. And giving it that natural look. See how fluffy that is? The tighter your curl, the more you will get this look. And it does not have to be perfect. If it's too perfect, it's going to look like weave. The more messier it kind of look, it looks more natural. Give it that volume, that pull out, that pull out look, excuse me. And that'll give you that natural look you're looking for. You're going to do the same thing to the back as you did to the top. You just want to pull on it with your hand. Make it look full. And you really won't have anything to do to it if you keep pulling it with your finger. And make sure the curl is tight. And that'll give you that look. Thank you.